River boys, I'm gonna make another addendum in the video, the, the to the 15 minute video. Once you have everything done in the 15 minute video and everything done in the second video, um, in the link above, um, and or if there's just not room for everybody to sort of work the same project at once, and or somebody's not, you know, somebody needs a, to switch it up a little bit to stay at it. Uh, somebody sometimes people don't have the mental strength it seems like to stay at a job consistently without being pushed consistently which burns people out so sometimes when that happens we just switch them to a different job so the third job would be i can't find one stinking strap like what i'm looking for now we have those lifting straps they have like a loop like you do a loop oh here's one right here this sort of strap like do you know what i mean when i say a loop like you put it around something so we have these on forklifts, skid steers, warehouse. They're kind of a lot of them around. Um, what you do is go like this, see, and loop it. Okay. And then you can lift it by that. See, so what I want as the third job, the third addendum after the first two are done, somebody could take straps like this and loop on each end if they have a gray line not if they just have a splash but an actual gray line gray line not gray line not gray circle but gray line gray line there's like five of them here so if you had like 10 straps one two three four five on this end and one, two, three, four, five on the other end. And then we can bring the telehandler or something and lift these out for Luis's customer. And I would probably let you guys sort of do that alone um, as long as you know how to be safe. I mean, these are thousand pound pieces, so you don't let them, you've gotta be super, super careful. Maybe I better be here to sort of help. Maybe I can, yeah. But we need to put them on power for Luis's customer, actually, what we can do is if you don't have 10 straps, if we got straps on like one or two of them, what we can do is first, somebody's running the telehandler lifts this one out while the, the other guys take the straps and put it on this one, take the straps and put it on this one, this one, so forth, so forth. So that's another job that needs done. Um, this shrink wrap and these ratchet straps need to go to the bit shed or the lower warehouse that ring needs hung at the right size spot in the bit shed um paint needs organized in the bit shed so i'm now i'm starting to tell you basically do stuff that you know to do from the first video but i'm out here and I'm, I'm looking for a bit for a customer so as i walk around like i don't generally just come out here to make videos for you guys i'm out here looking for a bit for a customer so as I walk around, I see stuff that needs done. I'm like, I gotta get back in. I gotta take care of this other customer. So I can't do that right now, but I'll make a video for the boys while I'm out here. I don't see, I don't see what I'm looking for. This is a very interesting pallet. If you do have the skid steer out here, this pallet does not belong in this row. This one right here, it needs moved over to the bit shed area. Um, instead, these bits could be laid onto a nice pallet like that and put in the row that would be a lot better but that's skid steer work and for liability reasons it's not that you guys can't handle skid steer but liability reasons for east west it might be better that you don't run the skid steer or if you do you be super careful you have like a safety talk before you do it um it might be too muddy sort of today too it kind of tracks everything up so maybe we'll forget about the skid steer work today I can't find the bit I'm looking for for my customer. He needs like a four and three quarter or a four and a half inch bit with two and a quarter by three and a quarter thread. He wants a carbide bit, not a chisel bit. We might have it in a chisel bit. So I guess I'm going to go look for it in a chisel bit and at least I can tell the guy about that. Um, be super careful on these. These can fall down. I mean, they will kill you. There's not, if they fall on you, you're basically dead. They, they could fall, slide off the racks. It's not something to play with. 
All right, I'm going to, let me try to measure this bit. So I'm going to stop recording. I love you, bye.